Hare Krishna, everyone. Just finishing up our three-week tour here in the UK, United Kingdom, and England. Um, kind of sad to go because it's been such a wonderful experience. Our UK Yatra, is, of course, is um, an old Yatra, old in the sense that Sridhar Prabhupada came here in the beginning years of the Krishna Conscious Movement. It's a very mature Yatra, many mature devotees Devotees have taken up big responsibilities, like behind me is the Bhaktivedanta Manor, the famous manor that um, George Harrison actually uh, bought for us. He did a lot of service for our movement here. Many of my godbrothers and god sisters have lived a good portion of their life here in the UK Yatra. So it's nice to come to a Yatra that's um, steady over the years and very successful. A lot of mature devotees, uh, a lot of wonderful grihastras, a lot of children coming forth, taking birth and the devotee families here. And uh, our program's been like anywhere that I travel in the world. You know, I've been giving lectures uh, to devotees. I really enjoy the lectures that I've been giving to the, to the public. The Yatra is very innovative. They have, I um, can't remember the names, but they have a, a place downtown called 108 Studio, that's what it is, where uh, people can come and it's an introductory program to Krishna Consciousness. And um, I did that program and gave a straight talk of our philosophy uh, with some humor. And uh, we had a rousing kirtan. All the new people were jumping for joy. And those are the kind of programs I really like, uh, bringing people into contact with Krishna Consciousness for the first time, to see that uh, seed of devotion that's there in everyone's heart, according to Chaitanya Charitamrita, the seed of love of God is there in every living, living entity's heart. But through the process of chanting Hare Krishna, hearing some, some kata, philosophy, something about Krishna himself, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and then just chanting. I was coming here, well, I first came to London with Sridhar Prabhupada, actually, in uh, 1971. So many of my disciples know that story, how I flew with Prabhupada from New York to London. And uh, on the plane, I was very eager to see, you know, what is London? I, I thought, you know, what, Prabhupada was going to give a talk at the, at the Sevenbury Place Temple. And I imagined maybe the Beatles are going to be there or something. <laughs> Yamuna Devi, I knew, was going to cook the feast. And, um, but I was late for that program because I waited for Sridhar Prabhupada's uh, bag with his books for translation to come on the airplane. I stayed back and um, waited for that. And then I brought it to the temple sometime later and the opportunity to take it into Prabhupada's room and slapped me in the, on the back in firm appreciation and said, so much endeavor in this material world, but when I take you back home, back to Godhead, everything will be easy and sublime. So that's my memory. For me, that's London. And a few days later, Prabhupada called myself and one of my godbrothers into his room at Sevenbury Place, uh, our first temple there in London. And um, I was a little nervous. Prabhupada had asked me and my godmother to go on to France to help the fledgling community there. Prabhupada could see I was a little nervous, so he reached into his drawer and he gave me his uh, one of his uh, pieces of his, uh, I think it was his top piece he gave me, or his charter. And uh, he said, a gift from a Vaishnava is a very special thing. I treasured that, that cloth. I wore it till it became bed thread. <laughs> then I donated it to Dina Tarani and Yamuna Devi's um, museum. And um, Prabhupada, as a final encouragement, like an instruction for life in, here, here, in, in London, he said, uh, Indra Dumna, you preach boldly and you have faith in the holy names. Now go. Preach boldly and have faith in the holy names. Now go. So I went on to France. So that's, for me, that's London. For me, London's like Vaikuntha because of Prabhupada coming here and being with him here and, and coming to London from time to time through the years and seeing it how, how it's developing. You know, Soho Street, the beautiful temple there with the famous cafe Govindas and so many important personalities, etc., etc. But I do remember when Prabhupada first came well, one of the trips he came to London, um, he arrived in the 
newspaper reporters were there to, to, to greet him. They said, uh, Swamiji, how do you like London? And Prabhupada said, London is hell. But the Sankatam movement is gradually turning London, like every place in the world, into Vaikuntha. It'll take some time, of course, but very nice reception we've had here. I just have, you know, kirtan after kirtan after kirtan in my mind, as you'll see in this video. One of my favorites was the kirtan we did on Oxford Street, famous Oxford Street. Now we talk about location, location, location. They talk about a restaurant if you want it to be successful. It's all about location, location, location. So we have a temple on Soho Square, which is one of the prime places downtown, right off one of the busiest streets in the world, Oxford Street. And devotees go out in Harinam there every single day. They give out invitations to the temple come back to the temple and see beautiful Radha Londonishwara. I heard one time that Prabhupada said they were his favorite deities. It's a whole pastime how Prabhupada actually got those deities himself from one of our life members. And they just worship with so much love and devotion. It's a small temple, but a lot of activity goes on there. And they, they go out in heart number every day. So I was invited to go and, you know, the word spreads. I think we had 200 devotees. There's going down Oxford Street, and no one complained. In fact, I saw a policeman kind of dancing with us as we went by. I, you know, many cities in the world, if you go out unannounced on Harinam, you know, there's going to be some complaints or there's some rules. People love us. All the shop owners were smiling and waving, and um, people passing by. Of course, you know, that street was full of people from all over the world. It's like one of the Harinam capitals of the world, London. I remember I used to come here in the 70s and do Harinam with Sri Bhuvanath. Sri Bhuvanath was one of the principal devotees to help spread Krishna consciousness in the early years here. And uh, he had a lot of association with Prabhupada as well. Be wonderful devotee. He passed away some years ago. I'm sure he's with Sri Prabhupada somewhere spreading Krishna consciousness son, in this universe. <laughs> Very lovely devotee, but I remember the Harinams we had with him. Back then it was a little difficult. People didn't know us so well. We hadn't become so famous. George Harrison made us famous. Uh, you know, the, the prime ministers, different prime ministers have come here to Bhaktivedanta Manor. We're known for that. So people know us and in general, they love us. And I saw that. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. That's a British saying, proof of the pudding. Proof of the pudding is in the eating. The bits and bobs, they have their sayings here. But um, wow, that Oxford Harinam. And we went to uh, Brighton, Brighton on the sea. We did Harinam there. All the tough guys on the street, you know, the tough guys, the hooligans. Their hearts were met, melted by Lord Chaitanya's mercy in the chanting of Hare Krishna. And um, yeah, we, we chanted with them. And they embraced me at the end and they said, you're one of us, you know, we know you love us. We know you have love for everyone, you know, we, we love you. And these are the experiences I've had here in, in the UK. We have these experiences all over the world, but it's kind of condensed here. It's kind of condensed. And uh, yeah, Harinam and Brighton by the Sea and people dancing with us. We had a public program there as well. and. Um, I went to our Avanti schools. ISKCON has developed many schools for children around uh, the London area and other places as well. Uh, approved by the government, appreciated by the government. In fact, the, previously the Queen of England, she came to one of our Avanti schools, one of our ISKCON schools, public school that many devoted children go there as well. And uh, so just see, how in time Krishna consciousness can be established in this world. It's a good example. Prabhupada spent a lot of time here, uh, you know, in, in the early years, in the pioneer days, establishing Krishna consciousness. So this yatra should give us faith that in time Krishna consciousness can become prominent, can be accepted, even by the government, even by the queen, even by the king, and famous personalities like George Harrison. It's a very good example <clears throat> how Krishna consciousness can be established in society. If you have any time, if you're a world traveler, you're on your way, way to someplace, 
stop in London and visit our many programs here. And um, like we did, chant and dance in ecstasy. All glories to all the wonderful Vaishnavas, past, present, and future, who have established this yatra. I take the dust of their feet upon my head, and I pray that I can come back here again. I really relished it. And the, the amazing thing was, the weather was really good. Any other time I came to London, you know, it's famous. There's that saying at one time, the sun never set on the British Empire. Now the, usually the sun never rises in England. Uh, kind of a joke, but it's true. This time for three weeks, we had sun every day. I think the demigods arranged it so, you know, the preaching could be smooth and easy. We could, of course, there's a lot of traffic here as well, but anyway, everything was set in such a way that it was like a magical mystery tour here. I look forward to coming back again. If you have time, visit this very mature, very blissful Yatra, the London Yatra, and all the temples in this country. They're all going very well, very smoothly and very, very successful. So all glories to the UK Yatra, all glories to Sridhar Prabhupada, who came here and planted a seed of Krishna consciousness in London and turned it from hell gradually, gradually, someday, into Vaikuntha. Hare Krishna. Hare 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 Hare